friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and it's February 9th, and I can't wait any longer. I want to start some seeds. I am making a watering can because every year I end up, by the time I have all my seeds planted, because I'm not doing them all today, um, I end up by before they're even ready to, long before they're ready to go on the ground, this is how much water they take twice a day. So I've decided to make myself a watering can. I got my handy dandy little drill Dremel here. And this is just a vinegar, a white vinegar tub that's been rinsed out several times. I've taken the top out of the inside of the cap. And now... <laughs> Half is kind of. You don't need many. Five should do. Five should do, and that will be my watering can. I was gifted this wonderful little set of start of a starter kit thing is, is I'm not going to be using this until my cabbage plants are ready to go into individual tubs. Make sense? So those are not for here right now. So let's start by going through our seeds with what we want to start first. Now I have consulted Let's start with the leeks. This, this is what my birthday cake came in. It's got water spots on it, but it has been washed. I'll put through the dishwasher. Now you can see why I always have plastic tablecloths on this. all up. I want to give a nice bed to the leeks. With our, let's see how our handy dandy watering can, oh look at that. I'm going to give this soil a good soak. I am just going to very carefully spread these leeks all over. And Bob's your uncle. The leeks are started. They own now listen, if you do use a humidifier dome, um only use it until you see the plants start. After that, they'll dampen off. But this is only to keep the moisture in until the seeds germinate. And we don't have the light cage set up today for the simple reason is um, these don't need it until they're plants. You know what I mean? And now we're just gonna do the same thing we did with the leeks but with the onions. And when it comes to the onions, you want the soil nice and thick because these are globe onions. And I always use Pro Mix organic potting soil. Just because I want to give my stuff the best start possible and it seems to be the best for this job. I have tried many other things, including my own soil mixes. And, not and if you don't need something this big, use a two liter pot bottle. And if you don't have a Dremel or a rotary tool to put holes in, 
try heating up a hot darning needle. All right, these are old. Oh, 2013, sell by 2013. Sell by 2013. So let's just see. We want to make sure. Let's just see how good these nine-year-old or older seeds are. We're going to put them in one side. These are Southport White Globe onions. So I'm going to start here and scatter them all over here and spread them out a little bit. I don't think I did a very good job. Okay. So that's those. I'm going to put this over here so just so we know, okay? Just so that we know. Let's make sure I got every single seed out of there. Just so that we know if they grow, then the seeds were still good, right? So these are Riverside Sweet Spanish onions. And we're going to put these guys on this side. Now I know there's going to be a line of demarcation somewhere. There's a lot more seeds in this side, so let's just put the rest over here. Water. Really soak the soil. I mean, don't make it mud. I know it looks like mud, but this stuff, the soil takes a while to absorb it. Let's get our meat. And over on this side, we're going to put the other piece of paper so that we can see. Um, you know, these were the older seeds, these are the new ones. Now, there were a lot more of the Spanish onion seeds than there were in this other white globe ones, but that's okay. There, onions, onions and leeks, done. It doesn't even have to snap on it, just has to rest over it. All right, now. I'm going to plant the celery. Now folks, instead of planting them in a little thing and then transplanting them into individual cells, this year I'm just covering this whole thing with celery seeds. And they're going to grow in this until it's time to transplant. Always start around the outside and work inwards when the soil doesn't want to soak. All right. Here is our tall Utah celery. And these seeds are so, so tiny. Let's start back here and then we can pull away. Some of this is going to be thicker than other spots, but now celery. Everyone says, I don't have any luck growing celery. Well, guess what? Celery, and trust me, one package is enough for a harvest for your pantry. Celery takes up to 10 to 12 days to germinate. So you want to keep it moist. You want to keep it moist. And when it grows it looks so impossibly tiny that people go, I don't understand. But the thing is, is celery takes time to start and it takes a lot of water to grow. So if you're in a place where you can't afford or you don't have the water to water your celery beds every single day, deeply water them once they're in your garden, don't grow celery. Now I have saved these little berry tubs for a reason. Now what we have here is King of the North peppers, mini bell mix, 
cabbage. Manitoba tomatoes, subarctic plenty tomatoes. Again, these are just getting started in here. And when they get bigger, they will get um, transplanted into, into individual cells and then into bigger pots. It's the only way I know how to grow my tomatoes. It's taken me years. These are called subarctic plenty. No staking required. I'm not going to need more than 10 tomato plants anyway, so I'm trying something new and something tried and true, which is my Manitoba tomatoes. Six or so. Why do we do six or so? Well, so that in case some of them don't grow. Um, these are the subarctic plenty. You can remind me that I planted more than I needed to there. I have no idea how old these cabbage are. Whoa, and that's all, that's more than enough cabbage plants there. Way too many, in fact. I'll recognize, I'm going to write on here, but I will recognize them because I know cabbage, Brussels sprouts, rutabagas, they all come up looking like a tiny little clover. Chamomile! Okay, now we're getting into the herbs. I, I have more coming. Chamomile, I have discovered a real love for chamomile tea, so I want to grow it out into my... I have a space out by where my old apple trees are that... Um, seem to just love wild herbs so i'm just going to grow some chamomile here and maybe i will just plant it out there we have our herb garden started we have what do we have well we have peppers peppers tomatoes tomatoes chamomile cabbage um, basil and parsley now, see, this is where the tray comes in really handy because these berry things have holes on the bottom. And there it is. Boom. Don't throw out your berry containers. I have to clean this mess up. And there it is. Leeks, onions, celery, tomatoes, peppers, cabbage, chamomile, basil, and parsley, and there's more herbs coming. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, the garden has started. Yay! Garden 2022.